darkness No more lovey shit unless it's bloody rhyme time Y'all ever see that movie? I know what you're thinking This white boy ain't gonna do me like that cat got done in that shit Let me put this in lamest terms Man, I'm running this bitch I am like the sis god if he's running the six Y'all don't even know who you running against Then my lyrics are shots, I'll empty the clips Sorry to ruin your parade with this Alright, what's up guys, so I just got done popping one of the tires off and replacing the front right side brake, passenger side. So I got me and Spencer here, we're gonna bleed the line and finish this up. Um, I didn't really pop up uh, the camera for a, the tutorial during because I really wouldn't have been able to hold the camera and do this and you guys would have just got sloppy footage. So I'll just go over it real quick with you guys on how to do it. Um, it took me a little longer than normal, mostly because this bottom bracket bolt right here was like frozen and seized up. So if that ever happens to you, um, I've actually had a lot of bolts seize up on me when I was taking the seat out of my car. It happened. So what you're supposed to do is, um, they say tap it and, you know, maneuver it back and forth so tight and loose and tight and loose and go both ways. What I do is I pour oil on it, and if you don't have any oil, pour some vegetable oil. Let it seep into the cracks here. Just pour it all over and uh, then move it around. Eventually it got loose. Uh, so basically what you're going to do is you pop the tire off. This is your brake disc. And what happens... At least this is pretty much for every car but for the Miata is what I'm working on what all you do is you take this bottom bolt off and this is on a swivel this uh, caliber is on a swivel so what it does is it just lifts up and then you pop the pads off both sides there's the other side over here and you just slide the new pads on there's gonna be uh, there's gonna be these clips on both sides front and bottom see these pay attention to how those are on there I've actually seen people say that you know you don't need them and they actually drive around without them because they lost them but um, they're there for a reason so keep them on there they're supposed to keep your brake pads tight so they're not moving around uh, so you pop those in there's these uh, there's a little piece on the back of the pad let me show you this is your brake pad there's a little piece on the back of the pad, so when the caliber pushes on your pad, it's uh, it doesn't actually just hurt the pad. It's hurting like this back piece that slides on. It's a metal piece. Um, and then when you put it back on, you literally you're gonna have to compress the caliber piston, which is a little circle part inside here. You can't see it now, but get yourself one of these clamps. I have a six-inch clamp because um. I had a four inch and that would work on a Miata but if you're working on like a truck or something it's not gonna work so I just went ahead and got a six so you compress the piston and then you slide it back on and when you take the clamp off when you take the clamp off the pistons still gonna be compressed so you just slide it on tighten everything back up uh, word of word to the wise I put some anti-seize on this bolt like on the threads because that was a bitch to get off and if you plan on having your car for a while, you're going to be replacing brakes again. So you want it to be like easier next time. I also put some lubricant, brake lubricant on the pads here, on the caliber and stuff like that. Just to keep it from squeaking and stuff like that. So I'm going to have Spencer here. And she's going to uh, bleed the lines. I'm not going to do a video on that. Um, the next video will be us inside or so. But what's gonna happen with that just so you guys know how to do that there is a little nipple thing over here and you pop that off if these gloves will work okay I guess it's not gonna it's not this hard I just have gloves alright so you pop that off and there's a little screw and a bolt you loosen the bolt up when the brake pad is down. So what Spencer's going to do is she's going to get in the car. She's going to pump the brakes oh like God. 30 times as hard as she can, as low as she can go. And then she's going to go all the way down to the floor with the brake. And I'm going to unscrew this, let some fluid and air out, and then tighten it back up. And you do that two or three times. And that just gets all the air out of the line and um, keeps it nice and tight. The last thing I wanted to say for this tutorial... Um, 
everyone says that you got to take the cap off of your brake fluid cap, but I've never done that and never had a problem. So I'm not sure why people say to do that. I guess because it helps against the pressure when you're clamping the piston in. If you feel more comfortable doing it, go ahead. I actually tried it this time and it didn't make a difference at all. So up to you guys. So we're going to bleed the line and we'll get back to you. All right, so I actually I decided to show you guys um, one more time how to do the bleed. Um, I don't really see any good tutorials on this, but it's super easy. Like I said, this is the little nipple part. Is gonna focus? There we go. Uh, it's gonna have a cap on it, and the the bolt right here is actually an eight. So what I did is find the eight, wrap it around, and kind of let it sit there and have someone uh, pump the brake pedal and keep pumping keep pumping do it like a shit ton like like 30 times and then have them hold it all the way to the ground and all you do is and then tighten it back up and that's going to release some fluid and then the air that's backed up in the line we did that like three times and uh it's golden like it's it's fucking tight as hell up there so um that's all you got to do make sure everything's tight which should have been done in the first place before you even get to this point. Just double check behind yourself. Um, and uh, yeah, should be good. This should spin pretty freely. And um, so now you're just getting everything back on and uh, putting it back together. And all you do is put the wheel on, uh, hand tighten it, drop it down and tighten it all the way. All right.